my loves. Welcome to our April tarot card reading. I am so excited to bring you this tarot card reading. I love doing these readings for you guys. If you did not tune in to the last video that I just uploaded all about the Mindset Clutter Cleanse, I just want to let you know that this month in April I am doing a social media detox with the Raising Wellness community. There is still time for you to join if you would like the link for the handbook is in the description box below. But while doing this social media cleanse this month of April, I will only be putting out this tarot card reading, the new moon meditation, and the full moon meditation. I might pop another video in there at some point, but this social media detox is something I'm doing for myself as well. So just trying to tune in to the intuitive side of me, get into the more artistic area. So. I don't want to promise you nine videos like usual, just the three for this month. I hope you guys will understand and I'm sending you so much love and so much gratitude always. So let's now jump into this tarot card reading. So for those of you who are new, <clears throat> I pull from two decks. The Sacred Rebels deck right here, which is one of my all-time faves and the universe has your back deck. As always, these are linked down in the description box below if you guys wanna purchase the decks for yourself so you can have whatever cards I pull for us as the Raising Wellness community. You can have them in front of you this month or you can play with these decks yourself. This one was so helpful along my beginning parts of my healing journey and just you know really tuning into that sacred rebel within really listening to that intuitive side gives you a lot of guidance and support so this is a great deck and then this is like an affirmation based deck so we're gonna pull first from the sacred rebels deck <clears throat> and I always pull one card from this deck and then I pull one from the universe has your back deck which is affirmations like I said and it just is an affirmation that you can use alongside the message that we pull from this deck. So we're just gonna shovel these cards. They're so beautiful, that's the front. Thinking about all of you guys here in the Raising Wellness community, on the YouTube community, all of you who take part in the Instagram community. All of you, almost 50 of you in the Raising Wellness Facebook community. Thinking about all of you guys and the message that you need to hear for this month of April 2019. And it's really awesome that a lot of you guys have been messaging me, whether it's on Facebook or on Instagram or commenting down below, because now I have a lot of faces and names that I can think about specifically when looking at these cards. So make sure to Invest some time in the Raising Wellness community, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook or here on the YouTube channel, so that I can get to know you, you can get to know me better, we can get to know each other better, just so that these readings are so much more in line with the energy and wavelength of us as a community. Alright. This one. <clears throat> Number 30, it is the perfection of your life. So here's that card. It's like beautiful trees in the background, some geometric iridescent figure in the front there. Beautiful card. And now we're going to pull from the universe has your back card and then I'll tell you guys the meaning of these cards. Here's the universe has your back deck. It's more like watercolors. That's the front. And this is by Gabrielle Bernstein. This is her, <clears throat> her deck here. So what affirmation do we need to hear? That will go alongside our Sacred Rebels card. Make the message that much stronger and more clear to us, even in those times where we feel lost or confused or hesitant or fearful throughout the month. Okay, I feel like it's in this front pile here. Ooh, it's a long one. So it's all stars. And it says, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear 
through the eyes of the teacher of love. Well, I've never ever pulled this card in the whole two years I've had this deck. Never even seen it in there. So let's find out what the meaning of our cards are for this month of April 2019. So these cards go so perfectly together. It is really awesome and really cool. So this card right here, the perfection of your life, number 30 in the Sacred Rebels deck, is all about uh, talking about the storm, you know, the storm of change or, or, you know, things that ruffle your feathers, things that feel like they're inducing anxiety in your life or causing chaos in your life. This storm from above can seem so beautiful and elegant, you know, when you see like a hurricane on TV and you see it from above, it looks so beautiful and, and calm and clear. And then when you are inside of it, you know, it's a totally different story. It's anxiety producing, it's scary, it's, it causes fear, it wreaks havoc in your life, blowing things all around and, and, and causing this huge change and huge shift. And what this card wants you to know is that it is in perfect alignment to help bring you into that next spiral of your life. It's, it's, it's moving all of these things around and with this energy of um, Uranus now moving into Taurus from Aries, like there's this huge shifting pattern that's happening for a lot of people. So this goes right in line with understanding that this change is here to help allow you to finally let go of what needs to be let go, allow you to really um, shed layers, which is really what we're doing in the um, mindset clutter cleanse. We're really allowing layers to be shed from ourselves, um, opinions, judgments of others, ideas we've carried around of how life should work that are not our own, that we've just been carrying since childhood. We're really allowing ourselves to shed what needs to be shed. And during that time, there may be a lot of chaos, a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. I know I've had a lot of struggle points and places of resistance this past, like just the tail end of March. It's starting to kind of upswell. So this is this card is really about telling you that this is in alignment with where you need to go. You need to let go of those things so you can move in to the next phase, uplifted, coming from a space of the heart, from a space of love for yourself. So if there's areas where you're feeling blocked in your life, or feeling blocked from really uh, tapping into the joy and abundance and the things around you that you have to be grateful for, you need to exercise that energy. You need to like get it out. So in the Mindset Clutter Cleanse, I, I give people a lot of ideas on how to do new and different things that aren't scrolling through social media. And a lot of those things are the same things that this card wants you to do, which is get into that creative flow. Have and do things that have no end goal. It's just a matter of like a creative play space. So painting, dancing, intuitive movement, that kind of stuff is really what it wants you to do to start shedding those layers, stepping into this new path that or this new um, vibration that you are about to step into and just really allow yourself to be present in this chaotic time. It's here for a reason. And this affirmation card really hits it right on the head by saying, I witness the darkness. You witness that fear, that anxiety, that chaos that's coming up. And call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear, anxiety, ruffling of feathers, chaos, through the eyes of the teacher of love. So really understanding that the universe has not forgotten you, it has not left you and overlooked you, it's simply giving you this storm right now to move you through, shed those layers that are no longer yours and step into that new beautiful vibration that is yours to have that you have been working towards. So know that the universe has not left you. You can train yourself to see this storm through the eyes of love. 
And that is your message for April 2019, you guys. I'll put the picture of the cards right here for you. It is so awesome to see what this community is going through. It's so awesome to see this gradual shift that the energy of the universe has been pulling us through to learn about ourselves, see what's not ours to keep, shed those layers and know that it is all in perfect alignment and that you are going in the direction you are meant to go. Just any time that it starts to become hard or you're struggling a lot, I want you to go into your your journal or wherever you write and talk about what you're grateful for. Talk about the good things in your life. Talk about the layers that you are shedding because you are now stepping in to that vibration, that vision that you have for your life. And if things become super hard, you can always tap into this community and get support from one another. And if you need professional support, if you need a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a therapist, reach out to them as well. I want you guys to be safe because I love you and I want you to move through these changes in a way that is healthy and productive. So please always tap into professional support if in guidance if you need that. You know, if you can't move forward in a healthy and productive way, that support is there and out there for you to use. If you can't do it on your own and it's okay if you can't do it on your own. So I'm sending you guys so much love. I'm so excited for all of you who are joining the Mindset Clutter Cleanse as we shed these layers and step into this new vibration with each other. If you guys don't know about the Mindset Clutter Cleanse, I'll put a little snippet of it at the end of this video so you can see a little bit of what it's about. And you can check out the video I posted before this called um, Let's Do Something Together. And the link for these cards, like always, is down below. The link for the Mindset Clutter Cleanse ebook is down below. I'm only able to receive PayPal payments for this right now because I don't have a separate business account to set up being able to accept your visa and debit cards, things like that. So I hope you guys can understand. I'm sending you guys lots of love. I'm ready to tackle this month with you and I can't wait to see how we come out on the other side. Lots of love and gratitude to you. Mm -hmm.